Good morning, viewers. It's a new day. Welcome to today's devotion with the Daily Fountain, the devotional guide of the Church of Nigeria Anglican Communion. Invite your family and friends. Get your Bible and your Daily Fountain manual while our devotional leader takes us on today's devotion. Good morning, viewers. Welcome to the Daily Fountain Devotion of Church of Nigeria Anglican Communion. Today, Wednesday, August 28, 2024. Let us pray. Precious Father, we thank you for today. We thank you for the grace which you have given to us to be alive. Lord, we ask that you grant us the opportunity, the grace to go through your world. And Lord, we ask that you bless us this morning, that as we face this day, strengthen us by your word. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Today is Wednesday, August 28, 2024. The topic for today is holding fast your integrity. Holding fast your integrity. The text for today is Genesis chapter 39, 7 to 20. Genesis chapter 29, 7 to 20. And it came to pass after these things that his master's wife cast longing eyes on Joseph. And she said, lie with me. But he refused and said to his master's wife, look, my master does not know what is with me in the house. And he has committed all this that he, he has to my hand. There is no one greater in this house than I, nor has he kept back anything from me but you, because you are his wife. How then can I do this great wickedness and sin against God? So it was as she spoke to Joseph day by day that he did not heed her to lie with her or to be with her. But it happened after this time when Joseph went into the house to do his work and none of the men of the house was inside that she caught him by his garment, saying, Lie with me. But he left his garment in her hand and fled and ran outside. And so it was when he saw that he left his garment in her hand and fled outside that she called to the men of her house and spoke to them, saying, See, he has brought in to us a, a Hebrew to mock us. He came into me to lie with me, and I cried out with a loud voice. And it happened when he heard that I lifted my voice and cried out that he left his garment with me and fled and went outside. So he kept his garment with her until his master came home. Then she spoke to him with words like this, saying, The Hebrew servant to whom you brought to us came in to me to mock me. So it happened as I lifted my voice and cried out that he lifted his garment with me and fled outside. So it was when his master heard the words which his wife spoke to him, saying, Your servant did to me after this manner, that his anger was arose. Then Joseph's master took him and put him into the prison, a place where the king's prisoners 
were confined and he was there in the prison. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. This morning, the topic is holding fast your integrity. Holding fast your integrity. The outline for our devotion says, It came to pass after these things. In verse 7, we can see, say it, it differently just to reveal what is implied in this verse. It came to pass after Joseph experienced prosperity and promotions that he was properly tempted. I want you to note this. It came to pass after Joseph experienced prosperity and promotions that he was tempted. It was a temptation that lasted for several days, not one day. Yet, for Joseph, no prosperity or an exalted position was big enough to make him lose the consciousness of God's presence. For his master's wife, it was easy to lie with a man other than her husband, but for Joseph, it was a great wickedness and sin against God. I want to thank God for his word and the word he has for us this morning. It is important for us to understand what happened to Joseph can happen to any person. And it is important for us to understand that our journey in Christianity has no time that you will not be tempted or you will overgrow sin or temptation. It is also important for us to establish that as Christians, as you continue to serve the Lord and as you continue to serve God in where you are, in where you have been rendering services to God and where you are occupying for the Lord. It is important for us to understand that there is not going to be any time, any day, when it will be said, yes, today I am happy, I have now overgrown temptation. No way. There is not going to be such a time in your life. It is also important for us to recognize that no matter how you are righteous, no matter how you are placed, and no matter how you struggle in life, there is going to be a time, there is going to be a season for temptation to queue up like one who is trying to get fuel in a station. There is going to be a time in your life you are going to be faced with several difficulties, with several temptations, especially as it regards to integrity. There's going to be a time in your life as a pastor. There's going to be a time in your life as a minister. There's going to be a time in your life as a local government chairman. There's going to be a, a time in your life as, as, as a worker in the church. There's going to be a time or season in your life when you will be subjected to trials, especially to regarding integrity. God is opening our eyes this morning to understand that most often than not, we discover that as we grow in life, as we grow in positions, there is going to be a time when you are going to pass through some tests that may not even be, you know, open to people. Some of your workers may not even know what you are passing through. You are going to pass a test of integrity. And let me quickly say, 
test of integrity is very vital in any person's life. And test of integrity is going to come your way as far as you remain in this life. There's going to be a time when you'll be tested. There's going to be a time when this test of integrity will come. You may pass through, maybe when you were in primary school, you never had issues with any person. There was never any kind of temptation anywhere, any place in primary school. We thank God for you. Then you get to secondary school. What about secondary school? And probably you never had any test of integrity in your secondary education. We thank God for you and keep it on. What about the tertiary institution? There you are now. How far? How market? God is opening our eyes to see that there's going to be a time in, in a man's life when he will be tested, when your integrity will be tested. Unfortunately, we are living in a world, in a society, where a lot of people profess to be Christians, where a lot of people profess to be believers, where so many people are having different kinds of titles, apostle, canon, reverend, this and that, evangelist, elder, and all what not. Good and fine. The titles are okay. But take note, there is going to be a time in your life when you will be placed, when you will be tested, when you will go through fire. And it is important for us to listen to the word of God. And there came a time in Joseph's life. This is someone whose rejection by his people, his own people, where we considered yesterday, his rejection by his, his own people located him to a king's palace, located him to a very nice position. Someone, of course, someone who is in a king's palace, you cannot be talking about food. You cannot, you cannot be thinking about what to eat. You cannot be thinking about today, am I going to eat? Is it going to be possible for me to eat or am I going to fast? No. David, uh, Joseph passed that level. So Joseph has passed the level of uh, whether he will be able to find food today, whether he will be able to, uh, wherever he wants to go, he, he is moving like, uh, in fact, he, he will be given a kingly treat. And so it is at this point in time that this young man was texted. It is important for, all, for us to know that why you continue to grow in life, as you continue to grow in ministry, as you continue to grow as a Christian, as you continue to grow in your devotion to God, a time is going to come when your integrity will be tested. And that is when, and that is when, and only when, it will be proven if whether you are a child of God, whether you align yourself to God. Today, so many people are parading a lot of titles, a lot of titles, and sometimes any person who don't, you forget to mention their title, the person will get annoyed. There is going to be a time in your life when you'll be tested. Today, we hear so many things that are heartbreaking. We hear so many things that are heartbreaking. Because when people come to that point of test, you see so many people have failed this test. And it is, it, is, it is important for us to know that <laughs> fortunately or unfortunately, this kind of test or this test of integrity doesn't come when you are growing up. That time you engage yourself in uh, three days praying and fasting. You don't, uh, you don't move. You, you, you declare a desert day for yourself. You pray for the church. You pray for your family. You pray for everybody. You and the sisters, all of you are in the fellowship. Everybody is praying. In the choir, you declare fast. In, in, the, in the youth fellowship, you declare fast. You are leading a lot of prayer. You are fronting a lot of battles in prayers. Good and fine. But as you continue to grow, as you continue to assume position, as you continue to take up positions, 
from a lay pastor, from evangelist. You, you, get to, you go to school, maybe you become an ordinant. From ordinant, you become a priest. From a priest, you become a canon. And from canon, you become an archdeacon. And the devil is just waiting for you at one crossroad. I want you to understand that as you continue to grow, and that is why so many people have expressed surprise. You heard that somebody fell into a sin, somebody fell into this kind of sin, so a heinous sin, and you say, how come? Don't be surprised. The test of integrity is waiting for you when you grow. In fact, it, is, it appears it doesn't come to one when, when you are just a baby in the Lord. Yeah, it doesn't come to one when you are just a baby. In fact, and if there are those ones that come to you when you are still a baby in the Lord, they are still baby kind of a test. They are, they are not yet graduated to this test of integrity. It is a time if you fall into this kind of temptation, hey, it will dent your image. It will bring your title, drag it to the mud. So it becomes important this morning for us to reflect on the way we live our lives. It is important this morning for us to reflect on the way we live our lives. It is important for us as you continue to grow, as you take positions in life. What about that person that you are chatting with? What about that person that is disturbing you daily? Look at what happened in the scripture. The Bible says that this disturbance did not happen one day. Our outlines, look at what it says. It was a temptation that lasted for several days in verse 10. It was a temptation that lasted for several days. Let's look at verse 10. And verse 10 says, So it was as she spoke to Joseph day by day that he did not heed her to lie with her or to be with her. Day by day. As you continue to grow, as you continue to grow in your business, as you continue to grow in your ministry, as you continue to grow even as a leader, as a youth leader, as a choir leader, as, as the pastor of your church, as the minister, as a music minister, and people come around you, and they're just looking at you, and when somebody tells you, maybe be, be careful about the way you say, no, I, uh, no, I, don't, I know these people, I know. Day by day, Somebody tells you something, you rebook the person, and you think it's all over, and tomorrow he comes in another way, he sends you the same message, and the message continues to register in your mind, register in your spirit, and you keep chatting with the person day by day. It doesn't take place one day. And these are the things we need to understand, even as ministers, as children of God, as Christians. The devil, when the devil sets a trap for you, the devil may give out a period of time, a long period of time for you just to fall. And that reminds me of a story of a young lady who somebody wanted to get married to. And the person that wanted to marry this young lady is not a Christian. Such a diabolic young man. But he knew that he cannot marry this young lady. Except she finds his way to the church. And so he had to go and become a member of the church of this young lady. And also find, found out that the young lady was a, one of the choristers in the church. And so the young man also joined the choir. And stayed that place, stayed in, with the church for two good years. Then and made proposal, went through the pastor, and uh, the pastor certified it. You know, it is also important for pastors to be careful. To be careful, pray before you match. You, you, uh, some of some of us who have become matchmakers, we have to be very careful. 
not knowing that this young man had a mission until got married, wedded, took her to where he lives, and now brought out his charms that same night. I reminded the young lady, you know you are a Christian, and you know that he says that you cannot, God hates divorce. If you divorce me, you are working against the word of God. My brother and my sister, it was at this point that this sister began to cry. I want you to understand that your integrity matters so much. And you need to be careful the way you live your life. So many people, like Joseph, you have found yourself in, in a higher position today. Be careful. You have talk, taken up a higher responsibility in the church. Be careful. So many people today are messing a lot of people up simply because maybe you have taken up a position as a governor, as a local government chairman, as a pastor, as, as an as, as evangelist, and you are taking that position, a, a, a young lady who relies on your counseling, who relies on your leadership, you are destroying. You are taking advantage of. Don't forget, there is a season in, in a man's life when he will be tested for his integrity. There is a season in a woman's life when she will be tested for her integrity. Our outline continues to say that a man of integrity is steadfast. Don't be wavering. Let nothing move you. Let not even money. Joseph passed through difficulties, but nothing moved him. He would rather lose everything and keep his integrity. Yes, you can lose your position. You can lose your office if your boss wants to sleep with you. You can decide to fail a course. If your lecturer decides, says that if you accept you sleep with him, that he will, he will not pass you. Let him fail you. The day of reckoning is coming. You can decide, take decision. I want to assure you that if you continue to cling onto the Lord and like Joseph, do not allow anything to damage your integrity. We are living in a society where integrity of so many people are at stake. Instead, integrity of Christians are at stake. Somebody will speak in tongues, somebody will present, wear suit, wear color like I'm wearing. So many people will appear in suit, but what they are doing behind closed curtains are terrible, terrible things. What about you? What about you? Reconsider your life and understand that there is need for you to hold fast to your integrity. God is watching you. Nothing that was done in the secret that will not be laid bare on the last day. What about you? What are your activ activities of your life since you took up that position? Since you become a priest, since you become evangelist, since you were employed as a secretary in that office, since your master gave that business into your hands, you have been peering, you have been collecting his money, you have been saving his money, and he's not aware, and you have been very sharp about it. If you repent of your actions today and cling on to God, God is going to deliver you. God is going to restore your integrity. God is going to restore your life. Today, God is looking for people of integrity that will represent him. God is looking for people to represent him in such a rotten society like ours, where people think that nobody, in fact, it is a general practice. Everybody can, but decide to be different. Integrity matters. Don't forget, without holiness, no man can see the Lord. As you go out this morning, may the presence of the Lord, may the grace of God be with you. To keep your integrity, to keep to the word of God. To keep to that which 
God that pleases the Lord. Align your life with heaven. Align your life with the things of God. Refrain from things that do not glorify the name of the Lord. And keep to the word of God. Jesus is our savior. Jesus is our master. If you depend on him, if you believe in him, if you trust in him, he will surely save you. If you have messed up in the past, the grace of God is there. The Lord will restore you to your integrity. If you have been keeping your integrity, continue. We are living in a rotten society. It is possible. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. Believe you can do it. Hold fast to what you have heard. And do not allow anything to distract you. The Lord will help you. The Lord will encourage your hearts. So that on the last day, you will, you will inherit the kingdom of God. Without holiness, no one can see the Lord. Let us pray. Lord, help us to cling to the old rugged cross, the old rugged cross, and to exchange it someday for a crown which thou prepared for us. Grant us, O King of glory, the grace to be strengthened in our hearts as we live in this rotten society where people continue to say that everyone is doing it. You had Joseph who exempted himself, who took it upon himself not to offend you. Help us this morning, God, that as we go out, we go out in your name and we will not offend you. Help us to align ourselves, O oh God, in the things that bring glory to your name. That on the last day, we will be in that celestial city which you have prepared for us. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. We thank you for fellowshipping with us today. We invite you to join us tomorrow morning, same time, same station, for another special edition of The Daily Fountain. If you are led to sponsor or support this program, please contact the numbers and email all showing on your screen. Also, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash ACNNTV. Visit our website www.acnntv.com.